Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to add in sounds and music to Adobe Animate. And since it's probably the next question you're going to ask, how you can manipulate the volume and other settings of the audio clips that you import into your library. So you might notice in the timeline that pretty much everything inside of your Adobe Animate project is going to consist of keyframes on a layer. There's no separate section like there would be in most video editors for audio tracks and video tracks everything just goes on layers. So following the same principle that whenever you want the graphics on the screen to change, you would create a new keyframe. You do the same thing when you want to add in a sound effect. Now you can choose whether you want the sound effects to be included in your keyframes that may be showing different graphics or movement in your animation, or you can have completely separate layers if you want to dedicate one to just having sounds or music. But wherever you have a keyframe, you can select on that keyframe and go over to the properties window normally located in the top right and then there's this section called sound if you have sounds included in your library they will all show up in this list you can see the mp3 files and WAV files are really common i think there's a few other formats but regardless if it's supported and it's in your library it's going to show up here now how do you add them to your library if we go over to the very next hand tab and by the way if any of these tabs are missing just open them up in the window menu um, but we can see in this library, I've included four tabs. You can see the audio waves for those sound effects. You can right click on one of your sound effects if you want it to play back. And the same concept would be for a music track as well. So to add sound effects or graphics into the library, you can go up to file import and then import to stage. An even quicker way I find is just to use Windows Explorer. So if you have a folder on your computer that has a whole bunch of files ready to go, uh, sound effects, then you can just drag them in. So uh, let me see here, I have the sound effect from freesounds.org. I will drop that in and you see it appears inside of the library. And now I would simply go over to the keyframe I want that audio to play on and click on the drop down and pick my sound effect. So here I'll use explosion two. You can see that the audio levels will also show up in your timeline. Kind of gives you an idea of which frames those sound effects will end at. Now, if I was to right click halfway through the sound effect and add a blank keyframe, you wouldn't be able to see the audio waveforms for the entire length of the clip, but it would still play back. So if I go back to frame one here and hit play, you can hear that the audio still plays. Now what I've noticed is that if you add in music to the first frame, it may not show up in the export, and I would assume that would apply to just any sound effect in general. So what you might want to do, um, and you could do this on a new layer, you could call this the music layer if you want, is start your sound effects from the second frame of the video. So I can insert a keyframe here, go to sound in the properties window, and drop in some music. So here I have Loopster by Kevin McLeod, lots of Creative Commons music on that guy's site. And now I can play the video with both the music and the sound effect. Okay, obviously that ends when the animation ends. Now before we go, one last thing you guys are probably wondering is where the heck are the sound settings for each audio clip? If you look on the properties window for those keyframes that have the audio clip, they're not there. If you right click on a item in the library and maybe go to properties there's still no spot for actually changing the audio sound so as far as i could find online this is just a limitation of adobe animate so if you actually want to change the volume levels you can do it using an external program so one really good free one i like to use in a lot of projects is called audacity so if you have a sound effect that is too loud i can just go to the folder where it was originally located so let's see this explosion 2.wave File, I will drop that into Audacity and make a copy of the files before editing it is safer because you won't be editing the original. And we can see the waveform of the audio. We can play it back here. But if we want to manipulate it, we can just hit Control A to select everything in the track. Go up to Effects, Amplify, and here it will give you how many decibels do you want to increase it or decrease it by. So if I want to drop it down and make it quiet, I can say negative five amplification db hit ok and that's going to make the sound more quiet so then i simply need to go to file export as wave or whatever format you prefer find the folder give it a name save it and then re-import it and then once we have the new file we can go to properties 
find the new version and go to quiet. If you input it with the same name, it'll give you a little prompt if you want to overwrite the old version, which you probably do. Um, so you can just confirm that if that's the case. But I'm going to change this to the new version, the quiet version of the wave, and I can hit play to play it back. So just for kicks, I will add in another copy of that sound effect here. So explosion to quiet, and now it should play back twice. Maybe I'll add more frames so we get a little bit more music here. And uh, keep that background in the top layer as well. Hit play. And that's the basic idea of sound effects and music inside of Adobe Animate. So I hope this tutorial has helped you guys out a little bit. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.